Hey guys, welcome back to Hates a Good Life. I'm Natalie, and today I want to talk to you about Novembers. I love Novembers. I love Novembers. November is my birth month, November is Thanksgiving, but November is also the month that my dad passed away six years ago. And so Novembers are a mix of feelings for me each year. I grew up loving Novembers, and I loved hearing my dad tell the story of my birthday. It was a day like this 20 years ago and the Santa Ana winds were blowing when we rushed to the hospital and you were born. Ugh. So I love Novembers because they hold so many wonderful memories but Novembers are also hard. And this month in particular, November has been extraordinarily challenging. So yeah, Novembers. But yeah, this year has new challenges this time of year and they're painful and frustrating and annoying. Um, a lot of feelings about that and I've cried many tears begging God for miracles. Sometimes healing doesn't happen right away. Sometimes healing means taking action and partnering with those promises of healing and partnering with the belief that things can get better. And for us, I really believe that looks like changing our diet. I think that our diet has a lot to do with our inflammation. And I know that um, when I did Whole30 with the haulers earlier this year, I felt so good. It was really hard, but I felt so much better. Sometimes those miracles, sometimes that healing doesn't happen right away and there is a reason for the season and I know that and I've been through seasons before there was a season of my life where my dad was sick with cancer I was sick with my back injury my mom was sick with a back injury and I was in a toxic relationship and I was going to school full-time and I was working four jobs like I know tough seasons and what I also know about these seasons is that there is something so much deeper happening in these moments. I truly believe that this is where our character and our perseverance and our grit gets formed. I believe it's where our compassion for others grows as well. But more than anything, I've seen so many times the painful, the pain points of my story bless other people down the line. And so I hold out that hope. I hold out that hope that this season is a season of planting trees that really don't look like much right now, but that in just a short while, I'll be able to see those trees. It's like that saying, you plant trees for the next generation. You might not ever see the fruit of it, but you planted it so others could enjoy the fruit. Like, I feel like right now we're planting trees and the roots are growing deep. And even though it hurts and it doesn't, it doesn't really feel that great, I know that there's something good happening here. So in the midst of it all, I've decided to challenge myself. I've challenged myself to feel the feelings, grieve when I need to, be sad when I need to be sad, cry out, call a friend, pray, like do all the things that I need to do to like work through the sad, not so great feelings. But at the same time, be thankful. 
it's really easy in seasons that are challenging to forget what we have to be thankful for. And that's not that thankfulness is a band-aid because certainly it's not. But thankfulness is a way to stay anchored in the truth. For me, thankfulness is a way to stay grounded through the storm. I want to read to you an excerpt from one of my favorite authors, Lisa Turkhurst, and her book, It's Not Supposed to Be Like This. I just started reading this book with my small group, and I think that anybody who finds themselves in a similar situation to me this season, um, you might appreciate this. Utter disappointment often taps the place of deep tears. This constant threat to our deep feelings ushers in depression, anxiety, callousness, and quite honestly, a skepticism about the goodness of God. Unless we see that all of those harsh realities aren't the end, but rather a temporary middle space, not the place where we are meant to wallow and dwell, rather the place through which we will have to learn to wrestle well. I need this wrestling. I have honest feelings where I want to throw my hands up in utter frustration and yell about the unfairness of it all. To deny my feelings any voice is to rob me of being human, but to let my feelings be the only voice will rob my soul of healing perspectives with which God wants to comfort me and carry me forward. My feelings and my faith will almost certainly come into conflict with each other. My feelings see rotten situations as absolutely unnecessary, hurt that stinks. My soul sees it as fertilizer for a better future. Both of these perspectives are real and they yank me in different directions with never ending wrestling. To wrestle well means acknowledging my feelings but moving forward, letting my faith lead the way. God knows before we eternally dwell, we will have to learn how to wrestle well. Do you see the encouragement God is giving us? To wrestle well means acknowledging my feelings, but moving forward, letting my faith lead the way. So that's it. That's my little update about me in November and how I'm choosing to hold out hope through practicing thankfulness. Now on the note of this book and on the note of thankfulness, I want to let you guys know about a giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway for thankfulness. It's called the 30 days of thankfulness and I'm running it on Instagram, but I want to open it up to you guys. If you guys want to participate in the giveaway. I'm giving away a hates a good life shirt. Hey, it's a good life mug some tea, and some cozy, fuzzy socks. If you guys are interested in participating, come back to this video each day this month and drop me a line about what you're thankful for that day. Uh, limit one entry per day, but you can enter as many days as you like. Now, on the note of this book, I'll include a link to this book and the workbook in the show notes down below, so be sure to click show notes. Uh, I'll also leave it in a pinned comment on the top, so if you want to get it that way, um, and join me. Join me in reading this book and doing the study. I haven't picked a date just yet. I kind of wanted to see if you guys would be interested in that. So if you want to read this book with me, maybe you also have some stuff going on this season, but you know that you want to remember the good and practice thankfulness, um, I want to invite you to do the study with me. So I'll leave a link to the workbook and the book down below and I'll come up, you know, if you guys are interested in doing this with me, I'll come up with some sort of schedule for us to all follow and um, stay connected and encourage one another on. So that's it. 
I'm so glad you guys are here. Thanks for taking a hike with me and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.